Yo, 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 what's going on with it? Yeah. That boy, KD, a.k.a. Karen Durant, a.k.a. The Slim Choke Reaper. He got his dumb ass sent home last night. And what I want to talk about is all the crying and all of the hypocrisy that's going on today from last night and today. You got Ticket TV, a.k.a. Silly Boy TV, a.k.a. I, I know basketball and y'all don't know basketball, but my basketball IQ couldn't get me through the league. TV. You a bitch ass nigga, dude. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna call you no bitch ass nigga because you ain't no nigga. You set up there just a week and a half ago. You just sat up there and said how the Lakers organization is, was so wrong for putting KD out on the court. But yet, James Harden get respect. Really? For being hurt in the Brooklyn Nets Association and organization? Put his ass back on the court to save KD's uh, legacy. Because, yeah, KD's legacy is fucked now. Y'all don't see the hypocrisy in that? The Lakers organization was so wrong for knowing KD was still hurt. I mean, AD was still hurt. And put him out on the court with LeBron. But the Nets organization and James Harden get respect for being hurt and sending James Harden back on the court with KD. You know, y'all got to stop listening to these corny ass YouTubers like Ticket TV, man. He's a cornball, he's a failure. He's a failure that knows so much about this game, but he didn't make it on that NBA court to play the game. Stop listening to corny ass niggas like him. He a bust. Hell, I don't fuck with uh, Kwame Brown, but at least Kwame Brown made it. This nigga Ticket TV didn't. But his IQ is so up there. He knows about basketball, but want to tell you that you don't know shit about basketball. Ticket TV's punk ass, he came live late last night. He didn't, he, he disappeared for a while. He wasn't around for a minute. Then he came late last night. Giving KD and, and the Nets all these dumbass accolades and giving them all these props for nothing. KD is not no closer. KD is not a leader. And that's just that. Y'all call KD the best man. The best player on earth. But the best player on earth couldn't get the job done game six. He got his ass beat back to back game six and seven. And got sent the fuck home with his mama. See, Ticket TV... And the rest of you clown ass dudes on YouTube, y'all are the curses of KD and the rest of these players that y'all suck dick to. 
Y'all the reason why these players y'all love, they get injured. They get sent the fuck home. It's y'all's fault. Because y'all sit all season long talking shit about LeBron James. This is last night is what the fuck y'all get. Ticket TV. KD don't get no accolades from me. He don't get no respect from me. James Harden don't get no respect from me. Because if James Harden is hurt and got one leg like you stupid motherfuckers are saying, he should have been sitting next to Kyrie. See, they ain't want to play Kyrie, but they sent uh, Harden out there to, to help KD and save his legacy. Because like I said, KD shit is done. You are not what everybody claim you are. You were LeBron James wannabe. You will never win as many as chips as LeBron won. And if you were so-called the best man, why the best man wasn't the best man on OKC? See, you should have stuck your punk ass up in OKC, KD. That's what you should have did. And came up that way. But Ticket TV, see, this the hypocrisy. He got so much respect for Giannis because Giannis, quote unquote, did it the right way and didn't go join teams. But yet KD get all these accolades and all this respect for joining other teams to be who y'all claim he is today. Get the fuck out of here. Ticket TV, you a clown. You will always be a clown. The only reason why you successful is because, see, you smart. You know how to hustle and make money. You knew if you came on YouTube and, and with this hate LeBron stupid shit, you know a lot of other people hate LeBron and don't like LeBron. You knew that you could convert people over to your page. And for them to stay there. Then for them to give you cash apps to talk shit about another black man. Shannon Sharp ain't no buffoon. You the buffoon. Because Shannon Sharp, yeah, he like LeBron. But Shannon Sharp give props to other teams and other teammates on those teams, those players when they doing good and he critiques them when they, when they fuck up, but see ticket TV, a bitch nigga like you, you will love Shannon Sharp. If Shannon Sharp sat on that show and talk shit about LeBron, you will love him. But since he like LeBron, you don't. Ticket TV, you ain't nothing but a little high school bitch. You a little girl. You don't like somebody, so you expect everybody around not to like them either. It don't work that way, clown. Why don't you go live, Ticket TV? Show us your stats in, in, in the D-League. Show us footage of you balling and then you tell us where you fucked up at why don't you do that since ticket tv since you can sit on your platform and critique the nba the players what they should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing why didn't it work for you you ain't nothing but a dick sucker uh ticket tv you was on Golden State's nuts. Then you turned around and hopped off they nuts and then hopped on the nuts of the Clippers. Then you hopped off they nuts and jumped on the Brooklyn Nets nuts. Ticket TV, you a hoe. You the same 
as these females on the street f- that hop from dick to dick. That's you. You a dick boy. That's what you are, a dick boy. You hop from dick to dick like a woman. KD don't get no excuses. I don't give a fuck about him being tired. Then you sitting on your live stream telling motherfuckers how they don't know shit about basketball and and KD was, was tired. Well, when you the best in the league and you the best in the world, you don't get tired. We going to hold KD to them same standards that you hold LeBron to. And we don't give a fuck if your dick sucking ass like it or not. Get used to it, pussy.